Hello artists. April 22nd was Earth Day, which is a day we have to think about our planet and how to best take care of it for our future. It's also a good time to think about the things we love about our planet, the, the earth, the water, the land, the trees, and all the creatures. So today I'm going to share with you an art lesson where we do just that. Let's get started. So this is the earth eye that I have already drawn with um, a picture of sunny sky and clouds because that's something that is beautiful in our world and I hope that we continue to have beautiful clean air. In order to make one of these eyes, the first job is to actually make the eye. And when you're learning to make an eye, you might as well start big like this because it's just uh, kind of makes it a good way to learn so you can see the parts close up. The first step is you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil with an eraser. I'm going to use a marker and crayons. You can use whatever drawing tools you have at home. Even if you would just have a pencil, you can still make an, make an eye with it. So the other thing you're going to need is a big circle to trace because we're not going to spend a bunch of time trying to make the perfect circle, right? So I have this little plate. I could trace that. That would work if you have something like that or a cup. Trace the big part of a cup. You just wanted to take up a lot of space on your on your um, paper or um, a roll of masking tape also could work. And I think I'm just going to use that for today. It's just easy. And I have it here. So I'm going to put it pretty much in the center of the paper. And I'm going to take my pencil and trace around kind of lightly. If I can remember to do lightly and there it is there's the circle and the next thing I want to do is I want to draw the upper eyelid and then the lower edge and so I'm going to put a dot here and a dot over here just as sort of a way to kind of aim around and one of the tricks is when I draw this line up and over watch how I'm cutting into that top of that circle see how I'm not going around the circle I'm cutting into that circle and the reason is that when you make an eye it looks more natural if that uh, part of the circle is not showing because if our if we were looking at somebody and our entire <laughs> outer part of our eyeball was showing it would be kind of strange and we'd be our eyes would be like bugging out of our, of our heads basically so on the bottom one we're going to do the same thing we're going to draw sort of an arc here and we're going to Kind of crop into that uh, bottom edge. So watch this. I'm not going to go around the eye. I'm going to go across it. So I'm going to come down here and go across the bottom there like that and up. And then I'm just going to erase those marks. Like that. And of course you want to draw small eyes sometimes for some project you can use the same kind of technique draw the circle then draw that cropping off those edges <clears throat> um, the next part I am going to draw is I'm going to draw a circle inside of the eye for the pupil and I'm just going to sort of go to the what is pretty much the middle if you have a small circle that you can trace around like something really small go ahead otherwise I'm just making a small circle here and I'm going to color it black with my marker later like that. Next part I'm going to draw is I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to draw the fold of skin that's kind of like the uh, beginning of the eyelid on top so it's just going to be like this just going to kind of go right along the same shape as the eye basically about like that. It doesn't have to be perfect nobody's eyes are the same and then down here uh, kind of a fold like that as well and that makes the eye look a little bit more realistic. Then our eyes actually have on this side a little tear duct where our tears actually come out from. And it's just a little bit more rounded so I'm going to just kind of uh, make that point rounded by erasing a little bit and just color that <clears throat> in just a, a bit. And then I'm going to put eyelashes on the top. And I need to remember that the eyelashes don't come out from this fold here. They come from the edge of the eye. So I'm going to make mine like this. 
and I'm just going to make them like a really thin little sliver like that so that when I color it in it will have a point on the end and it won't just look like a marker line it'll look a little bit more refined so I'm going to just go along there and put eyelashes <clears throat> of course real eyes have more eyelashes than this but we're making a stylized drawing where a lot of eyelashes might look kind of funny but you uh, find the way that you think looks best for your your drawing <clears throat> the next thing to do is I'm gonna trace this trace around all these uh, lines with my black marker and then I'm gonna color my design in so you need to choose uh, what idea you're gonna use for the inside if you want to make a sky you can that's what I made but it doesn't have to be that I chose to do some clouds and a sun I might choose to do an, uh, some um, water and a beach, or I might ch choose to do some hills and a sunset with some sunset colors, and uh, maybe I would choose to do some trees and a river. Maybe you would choose to do some flowers or some insects, something that you would like to uh, see in the world, something that you look at the world and say, yes, that's a beautiful thing. Um, so I think what I might do is, I think I might do some, uh, maybe some hills here and maybe a little, some water here. So let me try that. I'm going to do a little bit of water down here. I'm just going to sketch it in like maybe a little lake. Maybe I'll color that blue over here. Maybe I will make um, some, a little hillside that kind of comes down. Maybe a hill that goes up and over there, right up and over that pupil, that's fine. And maybe another little hill that goes like this. I might put some trees here. You use your imagination. Um, you all are so creative. I know that you will come up with really beautiful, cool ideas. And you're the artist, so you get to choose what you're putting in um, your little scene, what you would like to see. And then I think I'll do, I think I'll do some clouds up here. Might add a little, a little sun. And this is gonna be blue. Let's see, maybe I'll put a few more trees here. Like that, okay. Okay, so next I am going to outline the outer parts of the eye lines and of the eyelashes. And I'm going to uh, color the pupil in dark black. But you'll notice that the inner, and I'm going to color um, the outside of the eyeball black. But you'll notice that on the inside, the design, I'm not going to outline that with black because I just think it looks, uh, it's going to look. Um, uh, make a nicer look to it if that part is just um, colors look more kind of like an eye I think so uh, one thing I want you to notice is that when I do color this in um, which uh, I will do in a, I'm going to start now just to show you when I do color it in I'm going to I'm choosing a brown color for the skin and when I color I'm going to color in sort of rounded lines that um, mimic the shape of the eye it's itself because that's kind of how our skin goes it, our skin kind of goes around like that and it will just make it look um, a little bit more real and natural if I do that the eyelashes are going to be um, black but I'm just showing you this right now before I start to color the whole thing and then I'm going to take a different color a brownish color a little bit different tint a little bit darker and I'm going to um, kind of shade right up close to the eye because that will make it look a little bit more 3D. And I'm going to do that on the bottom too. You'll notice I'm, me doing that and kind of blending those colors a little bit to make it look more um, natural. So here I go.
and there is my finished earth eye. I hope you have a good time making your own earth eye. Maybe you'll make more than one. You can practice making eyes using the same formula to make them any size you want. And yeah, I would love to see her someday, so I hope maybe you'll save it and I'll get to see it. Okay, have fun everyone.